Well, post-pandemic tourism recovery is shaping up as a key election issue in the marginal seat of Leichhardt, the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. It's the scenic setting for a close contest that's seen Warren Ench postpone his retirement to see off a challenge from Labor candidate. Anna Rawlings has this battleground breakdown report. It's paradise found, spanning the Indigenous communities of Cape York to the tourism hotspot of Cairns. The Leichhardt electorate is a political hot seat. Personally, I think it's time for a radical change. One the government is hoping to shore up at this year's election. It's relying on incumbent Warren Ench, a long-term local. I used to have a crocodile farm. And a veteran backbencher of 25 years. Warren's proven to be a very good advocate for the Cairns citizens uh, and Cape York. I hope he stays. And I guess the other question is um, who's out there to, uh, to replace him, really? Labor's Elida Faith is hoping it will be her. I'm a Cairns local for 22 years. I worked for Centrelink for 13 years. Speaking to some of the most vulnerable people every day is one of many reasons why I am standing here. This is not the time to have L plates on us. Warren Ench retired briefly in 2007, making a comeback in 2010. He had planned to retire for good ahead of this year's election, but has since reconsidered. His coalition colleagues grateful, conscious a Leichhardt loss would be all the more likely without Warren Ench as their candidate. So the LNP had no role in my decision. I mean, they had asked me on numerous occasions, I just said no. I felt that I had an obligation after so many years not to walk away in a time when I think they probably need me the most. That has been during COVID-19. From Port Douglas to Cairns, the billion dollar sector has been losing $3 million a day during border closures. But what we're looking for in this region is for both parties in this election year to look at giving us some support the Prime Minister made a snap appearance to announce a billion dollar reef recovery package in January and made a flying visit in March to declare $60 million for tourism recovery. Climate action is front of mind for many voters here, while others are worried the tourism cost of the reef's reputation is being trashed. Is Labor talking down the reef? Oh, look, you know, we're talking about everything and anything. We know that the Morrison government's talking about the reef because we're five minutes before an election. While reef recovery was a hot topic pre-pandemic, COVID-19 has seen the focus turn to returning tourists to enjoy it. Tourism is quite big in far north Queensland. I'll go for the one that's giving the support the most to locals. Uh, better opportunities for workers would be, be, be our main thing. It's not just tourism in the tropics. The Leichhardt electorate is an agriculture-rich region. For example, bananas and mangoes are grown here and, of course, sugar cane. With such an incredibly diverse electorate, the winning candidate is going to have to hit a sweet spot with the locals. But party politics are leaving some with a sour taste. I'm thinking of this year even voting for... Uh, What's Clive Palmer's party? United Australia. United Australia Party. Yeah, because I'm just so sick of the whole two-party system. The two major party candidates, however, say the choice is clear. But it is time for a change, and I know I'm up for that challenge. I've been around for a long time. I know I, I, I know where where to go to dig to make things happen. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.